In this video, we're going to talk a bit about foreign exchange market, and we're going to start off with the exchange rate. So we label exchange rate as E, and I've already talked a little bit about the exchange rate in one of our earlier videos. So I'm not going to talk much about that here, except for when we talk about the graphs. So the price of foreign currency is labeled FC, and this is pretty much what we have to give for foreign current for foreign currency and I have that here and E bar is the market exchange rate and we have our supply and demand curves is what we provide so you can see that I have my price of, uh, of foreign currency on my horizontal and my uh, exchange rate on the vertical so what I'm going to talk about in this video is uh, we're going to focus on changes in demand and changes in supply with respect to the exchange rate. <clears throat> so uh, let's get started. So let's say if our imports goes up, if imports goes up, then we pretty much need foreign currency because we're buying foreign uh, products. So we demand foreign currency. So let's say that we're buying foreign bonds. then. We demand foreign bonds, demand foreign bonds. <coughs> we demand foreign bonds. But then to buy foreign con to buy foreign bonds we need the foreign currency. Then that will make us demand uh, foreign currency. Then demand foreign currency. Currency. Okay. So then that will lead us to uh, move the demand curve right. So then that moves uh, demand curve right. Demand curve moves right. And that is because um, we're demand, yeah, we're, again, we're demanding foreign products purchased in foreign currency that so that's why the demand curve moves right because we demand the foreign currency to buy the foreign bonds which leads the demand curve to move right because it is not due to uh, changes in e <coughs> also if uh, if there is capital outflow then uh, demand curve moves right so if we're buying foreign products that's a kind of good example of uh, capital outflow if there is capital outflow that means that our country is losing uh, its own domestic uh, currency so there is capital outflow then the f uh, the FC the foreign price for foreign currency demand curve uh, moves right And we'll just say that in this case, the we have uh, ex, um, currency depreciation. So our domestic currency uh, is weaker. And remember that I've talked about uh, appreciation uh, and depreciation in the past videos. So the demand curve moves right. And we'll just call this D2. And when there is depreciation, pretty much you need more of your own money to buy um, to buy like one unit of the of the of foreign country's money to say. So changes in supply. Let's move on to that and not to changes in AE or in E. So if exports goes up, see this exact opposite. If exports go up, then our FC supply uh, moves right and in another case if there's capital inflow if uh, capital inflow so capital inflow goes up I guess if capital inflow goes up then uh, FC supply uh, moves right moves right so in this case the foreign currency 
there is a currency appreciation. So in essence, stronger currency. And that means that, um, remember that in, this, in these two cases, I'm talking about our domestic currency. So in this case, our domestic currency is stronger. And in this case, our, our, our domestic currency is weaker. So let's just reflect the changes in us in our supply curve. So, so moves right. And this, let's label it S2. So that's what I want to teach you in this video. And uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you understood the concept. If you don't, watch over the video again. But other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.